Hello, I want to talk about a really important behaviour that our dogs need to do every single day and that's olfactory foraging behaviour. And I do talk about this quite often but it's really important because um, it has such a huge repercussion on another important behaviour that our dog needs to get to do every single day and that is rest. So when we provide our dog with lots of activities that stimulate their olfactory sense and get them sniffing, get them working for their food, that also uh, means that they're expending mental energy in a productive way, but it also means that it's going to help them to lower their pulse rate and their heart rate, also their stress hormones. It provides them with a really nice feeling. It's very emotionally satisfying for our dogs, but it's also something that's related to their instinctive part of their brain as well, not just their emotional part of their brain. And so I want to um, outline the, um, the wonderful effects of allowing our dog to have a great sniff and providing activities to induce that or allow that to happen. Um, and uh, some, also some footage of the benefits of that uh, type of activity for our dog. So the first, the first footage here is just getting ready to go for a walk with Marco and Morty. Now we like to have a nice calm routine as we're going out the door because Morty tends to get very heightened arousal levels um, and he's still going through his adolescent phase. So it's important to start things off as we mean to go along. So we have a system or a little bit of a a sequence, if you like, of Marco having his harness put on first and he's just had a little bit of a, a tension yawn there. And then Morty gets his harness put on. And as you can see, I'm just talking to Morty really nice and calmly. And he's just needing a little bit of extra reassurance there um, for some reason. Marco's just had a bit of a tension shake. There's a lot of hustle and bustle in that small area. Just reassuring Morty there. And we're going to calmly walk out the front door to have a little bit of a walk. Now, because Morty's arousal levels gets very, get very heightened when he, and he's just had another yawn there, so he's feeling a little bit of tension. It could be a bit of conflict where he's feeling, oh, I really want to go for a walk and things aren't happening as quickly as I'd like them to. But here we're toddling out the, the gate there. And now we're getting out to the front door here. But because Morty, see, he's just got up a bit of a trot and I'm trying to keep my arm still, not pull on the leash, but also not allow him to sort of move further away from me. So I'm still asking him just to be calm and nice and nice and relaxed. And I'm going to get him to try to have a sniff along the side here before we then venture out to a more stimulating area, which is the footpath. And this is doing this in phases. This is really helping Morty to learn how to be calm on leash because as I mentioned, his arousal levels get very heightened and his startle response is quite heightened as well. So he will respond impulsively to many triggers in the environment simply because he's going through his adolescent phase and um, uh, he already is an energetic dog. And in that short clip there, you saw Morty lying on the grass. Now that's something he doesn't get to do here because we've got deco granite. So that's a really nice, lovely thing for him to be tactilely, oh, is that a word? <laughs> to, um, to have that sensation um, on his skin, just the coolness of the grass on this lovely hot day. So this is a really beneficial thing for our dogs. You don't have to walk a half a mile or five kilometers to allow your dog and to get them to have a really nice experience that's emotionally satisfying and also um, something that um, helps them to perform their instinctive behaviors, that is olfactory forag foraging behavior. Now here you can see that I'm just inching along here and letting the dogs have a good sniff and Morty's ventured further into the uh, pig face plants that I have planted there and he's plopped himself down because it's nice and cool and he likes the feel of the foliage under his, um, his, his belly and his feet. So now we're just inching back. Now this has probably been around about six or seven minutes um, into this. So you can see, look, there's a lot of stimulating things here. Marco's just having a little bit of a a wee there so that's good. Morty again has seen something and smelt something in the in the other plants there and he's really investigating that so I'm going to take full advantage of that and let him 
keep sniffing and having good old forage in there. That's going to help burn off mental energy, but also in a productive way that's stimulating his olfactory sense. So, and you can also see um, it's bin day there. So there's a couple of bins, which is also good to create barriers, particularly if you're trying to teach your dog how to walk on leash and you're having difficulty getting their focus. So that's a good way to use barriers to your advantage as well. And here we're just going back inside um, because Morty's just getting a little bit excited and he's wanting to move in a different direction across the road. So now we're coming back inside and I'm taking my time coming inside as well, letting Morty have another sniff. Um, poor old Marco, he's like, come on, let's get inside already. Um, but for Morty, it's important that I allow him to keep sniffing and get as much olfactory foraging behaviour as possible um, and even in that small area and you can see here we are we've got a couple of nice relaxed attentive focused dogs after their walk which is you know and probably about an eight or nine minute walk all up but we only went 10 or 15 meters and that's absolutely fine the thing that we're doing in that situation is creating a really beneficial situation for our dogs by giving them the opportunity to perform the instinctive behaviours that they need to do every single day. Now, here's another really nice activity that is along the same theme of olfactory foraging behaviour. And it's a very simple one that is so underutilised, it's just unbelievable. A handful of kibble, do this a few times a day, depending on your schedule, wherever you are, your working timetable, whatever. A handful of kibble and here I am just scattering that out for the dogs to go and forage and get a little bit of an afternoon snack. Um, now as you can see this is really nice the dogs have got their noses to the ground um, they're working for their food they're not just getting their food in a bowl this is how dogs naturally look for food and by getting them to perform this behavior they are actually being dogs and this is what I see so many times is that we, sometimes we have to actually teach our dogs how to be dogs again because it seems that that has been is, is been completely um, taken away from them their, their ability to simply be themselves as their own species in their own right and see this is really lovely so both dogs have got their noses to the ground and they're enjoying that foraging behavior which is something they instinctively need to do. Now, why is this so important? Okay, this is a really big benefit of providing olfactory foraging behavior for our dogs. Now, I want you to have a look at this. So this is the benefit. We have some lovely, relaxed dogs that are able to rest because they've expended mental energy in a productive way, in a way that's compatible for their species with respect to the behaviour that they need to perform every day. And Morty's breathing rate is lovely and deep. Marco's enjoying a really lovely rest there. And this is something that our dogs need to do. Okay, so now we've finally woken up from our lovely rest. Morty's still a little bit snoozy there. Now, that is a lovely deep sigh from Morty that he just de demonstrated, and that is absolutely what we want to see. That is a wonderful sign that our dogs are truly relaxed and are truly rested. Now, Morty's not completely ready to uh, get up out of his bed at the moment. His eyes are still half shut, and he's a little bit snoozy, but that's fine. But the key point is that allowing our dogs to perform the instinctive behaviours that they need to do every day, that is foraging behavior, using their nose, working for their food, sniffing, have a good sniff um, when they're out on their walks because that's their chance to catch up on the social media of the neighborhood. There's a lot of things that are going past on a daily basis um, past our house and even just the front area of your house or that footpath or you know a couple of driveways either side, can have some lovely areas for your dogs just to sniff and get a handle on what's been happening over the past day or so since their last walk. But um, the, the important thing is that when we let our dogs have that opportunity to use their instinctive sense of smell in that way, we're allowing them then to expend mental energy in a productive way, 
and they're able to then truly be in a rested state and they're able to rest and get that rest that they need during the day. And it's also important that we provide different areas and different choices, different places um, where our dogs can sun themselves, keep cool, lie on something nice and cool. For, for, for example, Morty likes to lie right on top of my ground cover plants, my scavola, because they're nice broad leafed foliage and they're very cool. So I don't mind, he enjoys that. That's lovely and stimulating for him. That's enriching for him. But also, when we're out on the walk there, that olfactory walk, if you like, um, Morty, I mentioned, plopped himself down into the foliage there, into the plants. Now, he also had a bit of a roll, and so that, I'm happy for him to do that because that's also, also something that dogs like doing. Um, and you might see your dog rubbing their chin along the ground, rolling in something. That's what we call pleasure facing so that's a really nice activity for dogs to do and it also provides a nice tactile sensory stimulation for them as well um, as well as an olfactory stimulation so I hope you can see the benefits of the video footage that I've showed and the main thing is that when we're providing our dogs with the things that they need to do getting them to work for their food olfactory foraging behavior all of those sort of things that uh, types of things that help expend their mental energy in a productive way how that actually helps them to be able to rest during the course of the day. Um, and that's really important because our dogs need to rest and they do that in cycles, not just according to our sleeping patterns, but they actually will rest and they need to rest in cycles during the day, short cycles during the day. So providing our dogs with the ability to be able to rest in different areas, but also providing them with, act, with the activities that they need to do, which will help induce and be conducive to them being able to rest in their everyday lives and together that takes care of not just their physical health but also their mental health and their well-being so i hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, we'll talk again soon